are live! Hey everybody! I apologize for the lighting. I apologize for the situation happening here, which it doesn't look exciting, but it's exciting. I don't even know where, oh, there's the camera. I'm like, where are you? I, I'm so used to the phone being flipped the other way. <laughs> um, so I, I wanted to go live to talk about this idea of our problems being like dirty dishes. But before I even do that, I really want to drop like a really cheesy thing on you guys because I just think it would be really funny. <sighs> so my question is, my cheesy question is, is it gluttonous if it's gluten-free banana bread? You can't even see it. Oh. Is it gluttonous if it's gluten-free banana bread? I want your votes because I vote, no, it's not gluttonous if you eat half of an entire loaf of banana bread in one sitting, <laughs> if it's gluten-free, if it's gluten-free. Use paper plate, well, okay, you could just, you could just avoid your problems. You could, <laughs> I just realized that when I got back, no. Yeah, see, exactly. Um, I just realized when I got back, wait, I'm clearing out notifications. There's so many notifications going on right now. Hey, uh, dad, how'd your singing go? Did it go well? Um, <laughs> so I get back to Philly. I just got back like 10 minutes ago. I like ate dinner and uh, it was delish. I had a hamburger and I had some fresh roasted vegetables. It was great. Um, but I like go over to my sink and I'm like, oh, it smells horrible in here. What is, what is the problem? Oh, I'm so bad at adulting right now. What's happening? And I'm like, oh, sure enough. I had made baked beans. Somebody liking that? Oh, yes, it was wonderful. Good. I thought you were. Who was? Who liked that? My my uh, <laughs> my sink smelled gross. Um, so I, you know, sure enough, my pan, my pot was in there for when I make baked beans in a hurry before I caught my bus on Friday back to Maryland. And I was like, oh, gross! Like, what is this? Ugh! And you, know, of course, you like put it. Thanks, Alice. You're so supportive. You're just laughing at my problems right now. <laughs> I love you. Um, I go over and I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I'm, you know, on Friday I do it in a hurry. I'm like, don't have time to wash my dishes, so I like fill up the pan that has like that has like baked bean residue on it, and I, you know, fill it up and leave it in the sink. I'm like this will be good. It's like self scrubbing, you know, you just fill it up with water. It's soaking it because it, it needs to soak. It just, it just has to soak. Do, I like, I want a raise of hands, like emoji hands or likes or something. If you have ever put a like dish in the sink with the excuse that it just needs to soak and you know very well that it absolutely does not need to soak. You're like, here, here's a really great example that, wait, I don't want to dump out. Look, I'm just going to lay this on the table. Like this. Okay, there's like three crumbs in here, and you're like, mmm, you know, it's it's really baked in here, so I think I'll just, yeah, I think it needs to soak. Yeah, let's just fill it up with water, and we'll just soak it for, yeah, I think it needs to soak for like three days, right? <laughs> Raise your hand. Don't you be lying, because I know that some, of you, that some of you have definitely done this, all right? I'm going to put my banana bread back in the Tupperware container now. <laughs> I am going to raise my own hand for this. Bye, Dad. Love you. <laughs> um, so I've definitely done that. And I, I obviously, I just did it. And the thing about this, yeah, see, 100% soaking it. Thank you, Alice. Thank you for being a brave soul and <laughs> raising your hand on behalf of everyone here that is watching that is not raising their hand. I feel like that that is such a thing that we do with everything else in our lives, like our problems. What is it? Like I'm having, oh, I'm having relationship issues. Let me just, you know, I need to go on a vacation for three or four days to get away from this person and let's just let it mold in the sink. Let's let the dish mold. Like what is, whatever the thing is, like you know that it doesn't need the, the band-aid that you're putting on the problem but you continue to put it on and you continue, continue to let it fester. And when you come back to the problem, because you're not dealing with it, it's like 20,000 times worse. Like you walk back into the, like into the stank that is your life. You open the door and you're like, Oh God, Oh, baked beans from three days ago. You're like, Holy crap. 
why didn't I deal with this problem when it was, you know, just a little, what do, you, what do they call those, like, small flames? Like a little flicker, a little flicker of light, you know. Instead, it's like a full-blown fire, a full-blown, disgustingly smelling baked bean dish, and you're, like, gagging trying to wash it. Um, <laughs> so I, I thought that was a really interesting life analogy, me coming home and being like, oh my goodness gracious, oh, why? I, I own a dishwasher, guys. All I had to do was rinse it out and put it in the dishwasher. And I feel like that's what a lot of us have to do with our life problems, too, even the most simple ones. Um, so anyway, wanted to do that, wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit, say, hey, I'm back in Philly. And um, for those of you who I'm going to be seeing on Tuesday night, I absolutely cannot wait. Um, if you don't know what's going on on Tuesday night, I'm hosting Feeling Salty. Um, it's my signature workshop, because I'm fancy, I get to use the word signature. And basically what it is, is I help people let go of the past, deal with those problems, and welcome a future that's really going to serve them and going to help them step into their truest calling. So um, I teach stream of consciousness writing and a moving meditation that has literally never been taught anywhere else. And fun fact, we're going to be playing in salt. So hence the name. Um, it's really fun. It's only $20 a ticket through tonight. So through midnight, it's 20 then it goes up to 30 So grab your spot if you can. I would love, love, love to see you. We've got two spots left um, for ticket purchasers. So everybody who buys a ticket gets to bring a friend free. So technically, we've got four spots, but two spots for people who want to bring friends. Uh, gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, and how to get there. It's in the description somewhere, but if the description is nowhere to be found, it's apopstudios.com slash feeling salty. All right, it's Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. I would love to see your beautiful faces there um, because, you know, my heart's yours. I want to connect, and I want to see how we can scrub these dang dirty dishes and make it fun. All right, I love you guys. I will see you probably tomorrow because, you know, I like Facebook Live. I love connecting with you. Okay. Catch those kisses. If you don't, I'll be upset. <laughs>